Hello, welcome to the second part of the Future Internet Architecture module. In this part, I will give a brief overview about information-centric networking, a new networking paradigm different from software-defined networking which evolved from the conventional network. ICN is a completely clean slate design of the networking architecture. So let's start with the motivation for ICN. As uh, we know, network was first built in, in the 60s with the main purpose of the resource sharing. Therefore, the main principle of the design is to specify to get what from where. And there's no built-in mobility. This is because in this conventional networking design, the computer is bounded to their location and therefore it doesn't support mobility. Furthermore, the security issue was not considered while designing the network, but only afterwards. And clearly, this design may be good for the initial purpose, which is the resource sharing. However, currently, the use of internet, as well as the requirements of users, have changed dramatically. Now, the users care only about the content information that they get from the internet, but not the location of the content. Moreover, with the fast development of wireless technology, mobility is becoming an essential part of the internet. Besides, security is also a big concern since nowadays many business activities such as online banking, online shopping and so on and so forth are also done via internet. And obviously, the old network design doesn't really match the current requirements. Therefore, a new networking architecture that efficiently supports data sharing, mobility, and security is required. That's why the information-centric networking was proposed. And the main idea of ICN is that it changes the networking paradigm from host-centric to content-centric. So as you see here in this uh, figure, in the conventional networking, when the user wants to get a web page, he needs to know where the web page is. So he needs to connect to the web server through multiple routers. However, in the information-centric networking, he doesn't care about the location of the web page. So all nodes in the networks are um, are similar to each other. That means they can be the content provider, different from the conventional network that you see here. This is only a web server that can provide the content, while the routers just transfer the or relay the content. And that is also a property of ICN. That means in information-centric networking, all the routers can have can become a cache of the content, and. Um, the security is done for is done for the content itself, but not for the communication channel like in the conventional networking. So let's uh, compare the current internet with the ICN. So in the current internet, if you have a sender, then in information uh, centric networking, it is the content provider, and the receiver in the current internet is the content consumer. And if in the current internet we have the host-to-host -host communication, then in the ICN we don't have the end-to-end host-to-host -end -host communication, but we have the service which uh, provides the information, or this is information retrieval. And in the current internet, since it's designed as a host-centric network, then we have the topology but in the information-centric networking, it's just an information scope where you can get the information. And in the current internet, you have an explicit destination because you know where you transfer the data to. But in the information-centric networking, it's just implicit destination because um, the mobility uh, can is a built-in uh, feature of ICN. So the users may move from one place to another and the destination is no longer a physical destination, but it's just an implicit destination. And yeah, instead of the host name in the current network, now we don't care about the host, then we have the data or the content name, which is a named object.
in ICN. And in the current internet, we have to secure the channel. And, and yeah, but in um, ICN, the data is secured, but not the communication channel. So they, these are the main difference on, of the uh, current internet and the ICN. So what are the advantages of ICN? Here I listed five um, advantages, and let's discuss each of them um, in detail. So uh, first of all, uh, the advantage is scalable and cost-efficient data distribution. So as we know that the increasing demand for mass distribution and replication of large amounts of resources has led to two main developments. The first one is the peer-to-peer -peer networking, and the second one is the content distribution networks. But both approaches represent somehow a move toward the content-based communication model. However, there are still some issues. For example, the suboptimum peer-to-peer -peer selection leads to an expensive inter-provider traffic and is still enabled to effectively leverage in-network storage to reduce overhead for both peer-to-peer uh, -peer and CDN scenarios. So ICN is actually an attempt to, um, to provide the scalable and efficient content distribution. Uh, the second uh, advantage is the persistent and unique naming, um, which most yeah most of the content um, URL in today's network are object locators. So the DNS solution will determine the IP address of the web server that contains the object, and as a result, the name object binding can easily be broken. For example, when an object is moved to another server or if the site changes its domain. So uh, this is not the case in ICN, because in ICN, uh, we, um, each object has a unique naming, which is independent of the host or of, the, uh, of its location. So the um, third advantage is the full support of mobility and multi-homing. So the host-based nature of the current networks means that mobility of nodes and networks become a problem of managing end-to-end -end connections. But the ICN approach doesn't have to, doesn't have the end-to-end -end connections, and a moving user just continues to issue his content request for the name the object on the new access, and the request on the new access can be served from a different from different sources instead of uh, uh, needing to maintain the connection to the previous source. So that's why it uh, it supports a fully mobility. The fourth advantage uh, is a built in security. So current network security protects the communication channel between the client and the server and therefore it requires the client to trust the server to deliver uh, correct information over the channel. But the ICN security model, in contrast, provides the name data integrity and origin verification of the data object, independent of the intermediate source. So, which is this is not provided by the current network. And last but not least, ICN is also tolerant to disruption. In ICN, a data object is cached on its way to the users. Therefore, multiple sources across the network can provide the same content, which makes the network more reliable than the current network. Um, ICN is actually just an abstract idea of the networking architecture, and we need a concrete implementations of ICN. And so far, there are four um, implementations of ICN um, the, these are data-oriented network architecture or content-centric networking, publish a subscriber internet routing paradigm, or network uh, of information. But in this course, we will just focus on the content-centric networking, and this will be presented in the next video. So thank you very much for listening, and now it's time for quiz.